What's happening guys? So this footage is from my mock meet, which was Saturday. And I gotta tell you, I was super nervous for this. I know it's not a real meet or anything, but it's still an accumulation of all the hard work I've put in since my last meet in July. So it's four, almost five months worth of hard work and just trying to put everything together. So I was nervous for it and I, I really wanted to do well. So overall, I was happy with the day. My biggest concern coming in was definitely squat depth. I just had been really psyched out about my depth recently and I'd been hesitating on the movement, slowing it down in the descent. It just wasn't pretty. So I looked back at some old footage and I, I noticed some issues that I had and, and some things that I was doing differently back then, which I wasn't now and that helped with my depth, but I still just was not quite sure, especially when you get really heavy that's when depth can kind of suffer. So here's my 495 attempt, and I buried that no problem. I was very happy with that. I had a couple people looking, trying to make sure that I really was hitting depth because you can't always tell on the camera these angles aren't necessarily the best for really being able to tell depth. So it was good to have some help. Thank you very much, Alex and Katie. If you see this, I really appreciate you guys' help. And here I went on to 520 pounds. This is a PR attempt, a 15 pound PR attempt actually. The best I've ever done is 505. I missed 515 recently, getting too aggressive with my conservative maxing and just had a really bad lift. So once again, got some help to make sure depth was okay. Really working on spreading those knees and making sure my hips can drop in between and, and just really hit depth. And it went okay. I mean, it, it's still close. You can tell it's close, but they said it, it was definitely depth, so I'll take it. But I gotta say, my biggest concern for my next block is gonna be making sure that I just really start hitting depth with no doubt. Because what I've been seeing lately with the the USAPL meets that have been going on, they are really, really cracking down on depth, and they are making people absolutely bury these squats. So that's gonna be my focus now: is just really concentrating on make sure I'm really bombing depth and just. Making sure I'm getting down there so there's no doubt in anybody's mind. Then from there I went on the bench. My first attempt was 300 pounds and as I got set up I jammed my thumb right into the bar and it hurt like hell. I mean I really smashed it, even cracked my, my thumbnail a little bit. And I was going to kind of take some time but then I realized, you know what, this is a mock meet. Something like this could happen in a meet too. You only have a minute to do the lift so I better get back under there and make sure I do the lift and don't take any extra time and make sure I get it in there because you never know what might happen in a meet so I better be prepared. So I fought through the pain and we got her done and it went just fine. But I do have to say, bench did not feel as good as I wanted it to on this day. It, it really just didn't feel as easy as it has recently and, and we did get a little bit aggressive with my taper, a little more aggressive than usual, so I think that has part to do with why I was still a little bit fatigued and not fully recovered, even though I was I was pretty well recovered, but I, I think I could have tapered a little bit better. And here I went on to 310, and this actually moved, at least in my mind, it didn't move as well as 315 did recently, conservative maxing. So I knew that my next attempt was gonna be it was going to be tough, I knew that, and, and I was going for 325 on my final attempt, which you'll see here. That is a PR attempt. The best I've ever done is 315 before. I have failed 320 twice previously, but we had 325 on the attempt sheet, so that's what we went for. And as you'll see here, it went up, and the thing I was most pleased about was the fact that it, it was a grinder, and the whole... The, the main premise behind me actually switching to this wider grip that I had this cycle was to test and see if not only would I feel stronger and shorten the range of motion, but see if it would help me grind through tougher reps. Because previously with my more narrow grip, I was just dead. If, if, I, if I hit a sticking point at all, the bar would come back towards my face and, and I just couldn't fight through it at all. And I was very happy to see that I did in fact grind through this rep. It, it was a pretty big grinder, but I was able to keep through it. And, and I believe I was able to keep my butt on the bench, so I believe it's a good lift. But anyway, no judges to take a look at that anyway, but good lift, I'll take it. I was very happy with that, another new PR. And then from there, time to go on to deadlifts. I was tired at this point, man was I tired. So popped a caffeine pill, grabbed some sugar, and, and started to get after it. So you guys know with my deadlifts, it could be anywhere, it could be all over the place. It's so up and down all the time. So we went a little bit conservative on my attempt. My first attempt here was 465, which, Went up no problem, but I kind of realized when I looked back at the footage that I didn't really hold the lockout or anything, which that would obviously be an issue in competition. So I, you know, made sure I did that on the second attempt here, which was 480, which again is, is a weight that should be pretty easy for me at this point. And it went up, but I could tell it was just a little bit slower and felt a little harder than I would like it to. So our third attempt was 505. And even though I was pretty confident that I'd have it, I knew I had to really stay focused because, like I said, I just never know with my deadlifts. And when I fatigued, it all manifests itself in the deadlift. So thankfully I was able to pull it, went up no problem, and I was happy. So pretty much nine for nine in my attempt selection. Couldn't be happier with that. Everything went pretty well. 
and, and I hit all my numbers. So you really can't ask for more than that. Would everything gone perfectly if it was in a meet? I, I don't know that, it, maybe not, maybe it would've. But anyway, from there, I went on to what you guys have already seen in my last video, which was my 515 pound attempt. I basically talked to my coach and said, you know, if I do hit 505 and things are feeling okay, can I go ahead and try to hit 515 again? Because it's just, that number has been killing me for over, for almost a year and a half now. I've, I've been losing trying to hit this lift and I felt like if it was in there, I just really wanted to kind of get that monkey off my back and do it. So even though 505 didn't feel as good as I hoped, I felt like I still had a decent shot of hitting 515, so I said YOLO and we went after it anyway. So so when I did go after it, you'll see you, I got pretty much as close as you can possibly come to a lift without actually hitting it. I had it all the way up and I just lost it right at the top. You'll see the bar oscillate a little bit. I just kind of went back into some old habits and pulled the weight too fast off the floor, got out of position and the bar started to move on me and I just couldn't hold it. It wasn't really a grip strength issue, it's just the bar was tilting that way and, and I couldn't hold it anymore. So. After that happened, I gotta say, I was pissed. Okay, so I've hit the, I've lost, I've missed 515 for the fourth time now in the last year and a half, and I, I knew I had it, it was right there, so I just said, screw it. I literally said to myself, I am not leaving this freaking gym until I hit this weight. I will not leave without hitting it. And I just stayed fired up, I gave myself about five minutes and just kept that adrenaline rush going. Came back and absolutely smoked it, felt great. Couldn't be happier with hitting that. That was really the highlight of my entire day, even though I had a huge squat PR and a pretty good bench PR. Nothing compared to finally hitting that weight. So that felt awesome. I will leave this footage with you with my little battle cry at the end, because there is no better feeling than when you accomplish something after working so hard. So you can listen to that, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm